Today we are looking for a rattlesnake, but not the kind you find hiding under a rock in the desert. We're taking you on a ride to THE rattlesnake, which is Route 192 in the scenic foothills of southern Kentucky. It is only technically 12 miles long, but it has 150 turns. We will also be taking a pit stop at the iconic Souvenir Shack for a break on the snake. So let's rev up our engines and dive into the thrill of this ride together. and more bikes. than I would normally like, mm -hmm. but it is a very popular area and a popular road. Yeah, we stop for a second, put a little gap between the big group of cars so we can ride a little more open and free.
phone user and I have no coverage back here. <laughs> so FYI, if, you, if you're expecting a phone call <laughs> or Make somebody your calls to reach out you leave. to well, yeah. This is the land of no bars. Dawn's mom was stopping by today to let the dogs out since we're, we were going to be gone so long. So she went to get a hold of her, but as of right now, yeah. not happening. Yeah. Just temporary, eventually. We'll get back to civilization eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Rock Campground. been really good. They, uh, there are some tar snakes along the way and would be careful of those, especially on a, on a hot summer day. You're not trying to make any turns on those because they can get a little, little bit slick. might be a good time to ask if you have an opportunity uh, we'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel uh, that'll help us out and it'll also help you out to keep you in tune with uh, everything going on with the two-wheel Buckeyes family and keep you in tune with all the content we have planned for this summer from uh, adventures to tips we'd really appreciate that
Don will be happy to know that we are on the rattlesnake, but we have not seen any rattlesnake on the road so far. <laughs> there might be some out there. The only Not thing on the I wonder is when we're going through these roads with the trees that dangle over the bike and the street, is if <laughs> a snake falls down out of the tree and lands on my lap. Oh well. You're gonna have to really uh I know for hold, sure. your, hold your composure because I'll probably freak uh -huh. out back here. proficient in my <laughs> snake venom first aid <laughs> techniques. Oh gosh. <laughs> Kind of looking around here soon, we should be seeing the break on the snake souvenir shack. Very interesting concept to naming uh, their little store. to the rattlesnake souvenir shop. All right, check it out. You're good on the right. Go. Punch it, Chewy. All right. Oh. That was a rattlesnake. What do they call it? Break on the snake. Break on the snake. Real friendly people. Got to meet some Kentucky people there, which was always kind of cool. Everybody's sitting around, taking a little, a little air, a little break. Taking on a break. The snake. <laughs> Very catchy name. It was, uh, they were true to their advertisement. It was a nice break on the snake. Uh -huh. They do have a Facebook page. I think the rattlesnake itself has the Facebook page. And then there's also the break on the snake souvenir shack has their own Facebook page. So you can check out their hours and see some pictures. So. Most of the people we met there were all Kentucky folks. We were definitely the farthest away. Yeah. Very friendly folks. Yep. So 
we will continue on here on the rattlesnake to finish it up and get some more twists and turns for you. So far this road has been awesome. Didn't want to overrate it too much too early <laughs> in case it falls apart, but it's definitely worth the ride down here. I think in my opinion, it's very reminiscent of uh, the Hocking Hills back roads. Yeah. I think Definitely. there's probably a little more twists and turns. You don't get too many 15 mile per hour turns around Hocking Hills, but it definitely, as far as scenery, it kind of, kind of looks like that. Rolling hills, some farms, some just rural. A little bit of forest. Area, yeah. Yeah. And it really doesn't feel like, you know, there's much elevation while you're riding, but, you know, like I said, when I checked the elevation earlier, we were at, what was that, 1150? Um, so, you know, it kind of, the elevation just kind of sneaks up on you, and then all of a sudden your ears pop, and you're like, I feel like I'm a little bit high. <laughs> Definitely some sharper turns on this uh, yeah. on this section. Yeah, I'd say some more after... 15, some more 15 mile an hour, 25 mile an hour turns. Yeah. Most of the other first half was maybe 30, 35. Yeah, there's definitely a change after you leave the souvenir shack. If you're heading twisty. west. This is the uh, audience participation part of the video where you tell us where you've been riding so far this year or where you would like us to go if you haven't been there or where you would like us to do a video of that uh, we haven't been so far. Let us know and uh, we'll put together some ideas and see if we can make that happen. We are coming down to the end of the rattlesnake. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I love the fact that you can come along with us. Let us know what you think of the, the route, if you've been down here before, or if you know any other routes in this general area for everybody, drop those in the comments below. We'd really appreciate that. We loved having you along with us for this rattlesnake ride and no, we have not seen any rattlesnakes, so that's a good thing. <laughs> yes, thankfully. <laughs> so until the next ride, everyone, grip it, rip it, and be safe.